Sir Desmond Swain. Yeah, yeah. Mr Deputy Speaker, I never believed that it was proportionate, even from the outset, for ministers to take such liberties with our liberty. I, I always thought it was wrong for them to take our freedoms, even though they believed that they were acting in our best interests in an emergency. But by any measure, that emergency has now passed, and yet freedoms are still withheld, and the government will not allow us to assess for ourselves the risks that we are prepared to encounter in our ordinary, everyday lives. The government does not trust the people that it governs. Now, Many members of SAGE have been out on the SAGE. There's a misnomer if ever there was one. But members of SAGE have been out busily undermining public morale, one of them even sharing her dystopian vision that we must all remain masked and distanced in perpetuity. A shocking, horrible prospect. The fact is that once the consequences of this virus in terms of their financial and health impact have long been addressed, the moral impact will remain. The government has set a disastrous precedent in terms of the future of liberty in these islands. Now I can understand it if we were a communist party, but this is the party that inherited the true wisdom of the Whig tradition. This is the party of Margaret Thatcher who said that liberty was indivisible. This is the party that only recently elected a leader that they believed, that we believed was a libertarian. There is much on which we are going to have to reflect.